Welcome students. Introduction to trigonometry. Before starting, let us take some examples of our surroundings. Dear students, when you go to your school, you always see some buildings and towers are passing away. Uh, can you ever thought that it could also be measured by you without actually measuring by any tape or measuring instruments? If you look the top of the tower, a right angle triangle can be imagined to be made. From it, we can find the height of the tower, but how? We shall discuss it later. So when you pass around this uh, tower, maybe the tower is like this one. I draw, but I do not a good artist. So suppose this is the tower and you are at this position. Okay. So you think that the base of this tower, suppose this is the base of this tower. And if you draw a perpendicular from the top of the tower, you will find that the top of the tower, the base of the tower and you uh, will form a right angle triangle. See, this is a right angle triangle. Okay, a right angle triangle is formed here. Suppose name it A, B and C. This is the right angle triangle formed. So in this case, you are using this, the property of right angle triangle and a new branch of uh, mathematics, you can find the height of the tower. Another instance I want to take, suppose you are seated on, on the top of a three-story building, your house, okay? You know the height of your house. Now your father uh, is buying something for you on the opposite side of your house and uh, uh, this house is beside the road so your father is standing um, on the opposite side of the road actually so can you find the width of the uh, road in this situation also you can find a right angle triangle and using the concept of right angle triangle and the uh, new branch of mathematics you can find the uh, width of the road also suppose uh, i want to draw this one this is your house suppose this is the house three story building and you are at the balcony okay you are at the top of the house this is your position okay and uh, your father this is the road be, uh, beside your house and uh, there is a there is a shop and your father is buying something here okay so you see that the top of the tower or top of the building this is the position and the base this is the base of the building and your father okay if you join this you will find a triangle this is a triangle formed by these three points by these three points you form the triangle okay so th th this angle is equal to 90 degree in the previous one also this angle is 90 degree so in this figure also you are getting a triangle formed this is a right angle triangle and from this right angle triangle also you can find the width of the river uh, sorry width of the road so <clears throat> students in all these situations the distance or height can be found by using some mathematical techniques which come under a branch of mathematics uh, called the trigonometry and uh, this trigonometry term actually uh, this is a Greek word. I want to show a structure I have made. Okay, this is uh, this trigonometry has three parts actually. This is a Greek word. This is a Greek word, and it has three parts: tri, gon, metron. Okay, this is tri, gon, metron. What is tri? Tri means three. You know this one. Tri. Mono means one. Bi means two, tri means three, so tri, three. Gone means sides, okay? Gone means sides. And metron means the measurement. So <clears throat> using these uh, terms, you can understand what actually trigonometry wants to say you. So trigonometry is the study of the relationship between sides and angles of a right angle triangle. Now, <clears throat> uh, since I have discussed uh, on the right angle triangle so i want to say something about a right angle triangle i want to change the ink color uh, suppose i am taking this color this color i like this okay say 
this is a right angle triangle okay in this right angle triangle this triangle the hypotenuse is this one i am not a good artist and this is on the digital platform so my drawing is not actually nice okay this is the right angle triangle abc and angle b is equal to 90 degree and consider this angle suppose you are considering this angle before that uh, since uh, the angle b is 90 degrees so using the angle sum property can you say what is the sum of these three angles angle a plus angle b and angle c this is obviously 180 degree you know this one but out of these three angles angle b is 90 degree so you can write angle a plus angle c is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree isn't it and getting 90 degree so the sum of two angles a and c is equal to 90 degree so since the sum of these two angles angle a and angle c is equal to 90 degree and none of them can be zero degree so if you any one angle is zero degree so the triangle cannot be formed sorry right uh, right angle triangle or any triangle cannot be formed so angle a and angle c must be acute angles these two angles should be acute this is acute this one is also acute angle now one thing is interesting that the opposite side of the right angle tri right angle is the hypotenuse this is your hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse and another i want to take this angle in my consideration angle c so the opposite side of angle c this this is ab this is known as the opposite side opposite side of the angle c and this this bc side is known as the adjacent side this is adjacent side okay this is adjacent side this is the opposite side with respect to the angle c and this one is hypotenuse with respect to angle b similarly if if i want to draw another triangle with the with the same naming say say this is a triangle abc and uh, angle b is 90 degree so obviously its opposite side is the hypotenuse and hypotenuse is the longest side of a right angle triangle now you are considering the angle a this is your consideration and its opposite side this one that means bc is the opposite side with respect to the angle a opposite side okay and another thing is this ab side will be now the adjacent side adjacent side with respect to the angle a these two concepts in right angle triangle are very important and now i want to again change the color yes i am taking blue color now since you know in a in any triangle there are three sides suppose this triangle is considered triangle abc can you tell me using how many how many sides are there three sides because this is a triangle and in th uh, using these three sides how many ratios can be found you say that if i take uh, ab is equal to suppose i want to take ab is equal to x units bc is equal to y units and uh, ca is equal to z units so <clears throat> there are three real numbers using these numbers um, uh, not real numbers they are all the integers okay so using these three integers positive integers uh, how many ratios can be found you know you can find six ratios as for example x by y y by z z by x similarly they are reciprocals also y by x next is y by z by y and from this one x by z okay so you are getting one two three four five six ratios okay using three numbers you are getting six ratios now 
why do I say uh, about the ratios of the sides of the triangle? This is very important because from these, from the using of these ratios, you will get the concept of trigonometry. So in the next page, yes. Now again, I want to draw the triangle. Suppose your, this is your triangle, triangle ABC. triangle ABC C and A are the acute angles AC is the hypotenuse angle B is a right angle right angle and uh, we consider these angle as theta okay let us consider that angle C is equal to theta okay so now the ratio of the opposite side of this angle theta I want to write AB upon AC. What is AC? AC is the AC is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle, and the ratio between the opposite side of the angle theta divided by the opposite side of the angle 90 degree. This is termed as the sine S I N E sine of angle C or in short sine of angle theta. So sine of angle theta is equal to AB upon AC or we can write it in another short form SIN sine theta is equal to AB upon AC. So there is a story behind this SIN. I want to share with you uh, the first use of idea of sign s i n e in the way we use today was the was in the work of Aryabhatam by Aryabhatta in 500 A.D. Okay, Aryabhatta used the word ardhyaja or half chord, which was shortened as ja or jiva in due course. When Aryabhattam was translated into Arabic, the word Jiva was retained as it is. The word Jiva was translated into sinus, S-I-N-U-S, which means curve. When the Arabic version was translated into Latin, soon the word sinus also used as S-I-N-E sign, okay, became common in mathematical texts throughout Europe. An English professor of astronomy, Edmund Gunter, uh, in 1625 first used the abbreviated form of SIN, sin theta. Okay, don't uh, spell like this, SIN as sin. This is not sin, this is SIN sin, sin of some angle. Without angle, this sign has no meaning. As for example, he is father. This is not a complete sentence. He is the father of Sham. So father is the function of Sham. Like this, this trigonometric concept sign is the function of some angle. Okay. In this way, the ratio of the adjacent side of angle theta this is bc so bc upon bc upon the hypotenuse ac is equal to this is known as cos of angle theta okay so cos theta is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse okay and this is the opposite side of angle theta now what is tangent of theta in short, this is 10 theta and this is cos means the cosecant angle of theta. Okay. So in this way, 10 theta is equal to 10 theta is equal to the opposite side of the angle theta divided by the adjacent side. That means AB upon BC. This is AB upon AC. Okay. In this way, the basic three ratios are found. Sin theta is equal to AB upon AC. Cos theta is equal to BC upon AC. Tan theta is equal to AB upon AC. Now, in short, if you want to say 
I don't hesitate if you like this one also. I change the color. Suppose you want to take it as the height that is the opposite side of the angle theta as height and the adjacent side as base. Suppose this is B and hypotenuse as HY hypotenuse. So this sine theta is equal to AB by AC or you can write it as height divided by hypotenuse. Okay. Similarly, cos theta is equal to base divided by hypotenuse and uh, tan theta is equal to height divided by base. But this height is an absurd condition, absurd thing because if you take this, or this one, it's this angle, angle A. So its opposite side BC will be taken as height but since it is uh, horizontal to your earth position so you can't say it, is, it has a height. So this is just for uh, imagination or to understand the concept in an easy way. But don't think this is height or this one is base. It is better that you say the opposite side of angle theta. This is the uh, adjacent side of angle theta. Okay. Now these three ratios are the uh, basic ratios and uh, the reciprocal of them are respectively the first one AC. AC upon AB, AC upon AB, AC upon AB is equal to AB upon AC is equal to sin theta, AC upon AB is known as cosec, cosec theta, cosec of the angle theta is equal to AC upon AB. Next is BC by AC is cos theta, its reciprocal is AC upon BC, so write AC upon BC. AC upon BC is equal to sec theta. Sec theta. And uh, another last one. AB upon AC is equal to 10 theta. So AB AC upon AB is equal to cot theta. Cotangent actually. This is cot theta. Cot of theta is equal to AC upon AB. Now one, one uh, the interesting facts are that these are all the reciprocal of the previous three okay so we find in short sin theta is the reciprocal of cosec theta okay so cosec sin theta is equal to 1 upon cosec theta or you can say cosec theta is equal to 1 upon sin theta next cos theta is equal cos theta and sec theta are reciprocal to each other so you can write cos theta is equal to 1 upon sec theta and finally tan theta is equal to 1 upon cot theta as tan theta cot theta both are reciprocal to each other from this one you can write also sin theta into cosec theta is equal to 1 and from this this is cos theta into sec theta is equal to 1 and uh, it says you tan theta into cot theta is equal to these are few uh, important relationships between the uh, trigonometric functions. Another thing is, I want to change the color, then it will be better to understand. Yes, this one. Okay, <clears throat> one thing, see that sin theta is equal to, sin theta is equal to, sin, sin theta is equal to AB upon AC and cos theta is equal to BC upon AC, isn't it? So from here you can write the ratio of these two AB by AC and BC upon AC. If you take the ratio of them, I want to write it AB upon AC whole divided by BC upon AC. Okay. So that means you are taking actually sin theta upon cos theta. So this AC is cancelled so getting sin theta upon cos theta is equal to ab upon bc write it here right side first ab upon ac okay i have written ab upon ac now see that this ab upon ac is nothing but tan theta this is tan theta so i can write ab upon ac as tan tan theta tangent of the angle theta so can we say that tan theta, this tan theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta? So write it. This is another relation you are finding here. 
this tan theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta sin theta upon cos theta this is a good relation okay now again i want to say that this tan theta and cot theta are reciprocal to each other isn't it so from this relation also this is a good relation this is a good relation again you can find from this one cot theta cot theta to write this one cot theta is equal to cos theta upon sin theta as tan theta and cot theta are reciprocal to each other so there are two relations found tan theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta and cot theta is equal to cos theta upon sin theta okay now using this concept the ratio between the sines and uh, the relationship between the sines and the ratios uh, ratios of the sines and the angles we are finding the uh, trigonometric um, functions and their relations between the sides and angles so using these concepts now we shall use this concept in few examples the first example is taken from ncert book okay i want to read this one in triangle pqr right angle at q okay i want to draw a triangle first of all this is suppose this is a right angle triangle p q r and it is said that the right angle at q that means this angle is equal to 90 degree and pr plus qr is equal to 25 cm what is given pr plus qr i want to change the color red color will be better okay pr plus qr is equal to 25 and pq is equal to 5 cm this is 5 cm okay right it here 5 cm since the sum of two sides pr and qr is 25 cm let us consider that rp is equal to x cm okay if R, rp is equal to x cm then what will be rq rq will be obviously 25 minus x cm 25 minus x cm again discuss this one that will be better to understand in a right angle triangle pqr right angle that q PR plus Q1 is equal to 25 centimeter. The sum of two sides are is equal to 25 centimeter. PR and QR. PR and QR. And PQ is equal to 5 centimeter. PQ is equal to 5 centimeter. Determine the values of sine P, cos P, and tan P. Okay. With respect to this angle, we shall find. Now, since we know the three sides of the right angle triangle so we can use the pythagoras theorem what is pythagoras theorem the hypotenuse square pr square is equal to the sum of the other two arms of the right angle triangle pq square plus qp square okay what is pr pr is equal to x so x square is equal to pq pq is equal to 5 so 5 square means 25 plus qp square qp is equal to 25 minus x whole square okay this is x square plus is equal to 25 plus this is a minus b whole square 625 minus 50x plus x square from both side you cancel x square okay we have cancelled or 50x is equal to 625 plus 25 that is 650 so from here you are getting x is equal to 650 divided by 50 so 0 is cancelled 513 is just 65 so x is equal to x is equal to 13 x is equal to 13 okay x is equal to 13 that means pr is equal to so we are getting pr is equal to 13 centimeter and pq is equal to 13 25 minus x that is 25 minus 13 that is 12 centimeter so all the side measures are known pq is given 5 centimeter now you have got pr is equal to 13 centimeter pq is equal to 12 centimeter so don't worry about it you can find easily sin p cos p and tan p so first of all we start with sin p do i change the color of the ink okay that's better 
चूज एनी कलर ओके ब्लू कलर ओके साइन पी इज इक्वेल टू साइन पी इज इक्वेल यू नो विद रेस्पेक्ट टू पी दिस एंगल पी ऑपोजिट साइड इज पी की आर क्यू एंड हाइपोटेन इज एज यूज आर पी सो साइन पी इज इक्वेल टू आर क्यू अपन आर पी ओके सो व्हाट इज आर क्यू आर क्यू इज इक्वेल टू आर क्यू इज इक्वेल टू जस्ट फाउंड आर क्यू आर क्यू आर क्यू इज इक्वेल टू ओके वन थिंग इज रिटर्न हियर ओके पी आर इज इक्वेल टू थर्टीन सेंटीमीटर पी आर इज इक्वेल टू थर्टीन सेंटीमीटर दिस विल बी पी क्यू नॉट पी क्यू दिस इज आर क्यू पी आर इज इक्वेल टू थर्टीन सेंटीमीटर दिस इज आर क्यू आर क्यू इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस एक्स सेंटीमीटर सो ऑब्वियसली दिस इज ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर फाइन साइन पी इज इक्वेल टू आर पी बाई आर पी आर क्यू बाई आर पी आर क्यू इज इक्वेल टू ट्वेल्व एंड आर पी इज इक्वेल टू थर्टीन सो द रेशियो is 12 is to 13 that we sign p is equal to 12 by 13 next is cos p okay cos p is equal to cos p is equal to qp divided by rp qp divided by qp upon rp so this is equal to 5 upon x x is equal to 13 so this is 5 upon 13 5 upon 13. Next is 10p. 10p is equal to sin p upon cos p, or you can find uh, RQ divided by QP. So RQ is equal to um, 12. So this is 12 upon 5. Okay. So three ratios are found. You can find the other ratios also. Cosec p. Cosec p is equal to 13 upon 12. From it, sec p, sec p is equal to 13 upon 5, and finally, cot of p is equal to 5 upon 12. So, in this way, you can solve many more questions. Next question. Okay, in a right angle triangle, right angled at B, if tan a is equal to 1, then verify that 2 sin a cos a is equal to 1. So, let's first draw the figure. Okay, when I draw a triangle, right angle triangle, it becomes slightly bent because uh, this is a digital pen. So I have to practice more using this digital pen. Okay, right angle at B. This is B. Suppose this is A and this point is C. A, B, C. And what is given? Tan A is equal to one. Tan A tangent of angle A is equal to one. Now, what is tan of A? Tan of A is equal to BC upon BC upon BA or AB. That is equal to one. So, from here you can write BC is equal to AB. Okay. Let AB is equal to BC is equal to say um, x units. Okay, x units, x units. Now, from this A B, since A B and B C are considered as x units, you can find C A using the Pythagoras theorem. C A is equal to root under A B square plus B C square. So this is equal to root over of 2 x square. That means x root 2. That is this these units. Okay, these units. C A is equal to x root units. X root 2 units. Now. Three sides are known. You can find sine a and cos a. So first of all, we find sine a. Sine of a is equal to b c divided by c a. b c is equal to b c is equal to x and c a is equal to c a is equal to x root two. So cancel x. Obviously, you should consider that x is not is equal to zero. Otherwise, the denominator will be zero. So you cannot cancel or divide. So this is uh, from this you are getting one one upon root two. Next is cos of angle A. Cos of angle A is equal to AB divided by AC. So what is AB? AB is equal to x and AC is equal to again this is the hypotenuse x root two. 
So cancel x and you will get 1 upon root 2. Obviously you should consider that x is not is equal to 0 otherwise it will be undefined. So sin n cos are found. So you take uh, the condition the LHS and uh, from LHS you will get now 2 sin a. What is sin a? Sin a is equal to 1 upon root 2 into cos a 1 upon root 2. So this is 2 into half. So getting 1. So it is your RHS. So verified. Okay. So this is one of the most important answer to question. Next we have another good question of anxiety. What is given? Given that tangent of angle A is equal to 4 upon 3. Find the other trigonometric ratios of the triangle of the angle A. Okay. So again I want to change the ink color. Okay. Red is taken. So you have to draw another triangle. Can I draw accurately? Yes, I am trying. So this is A, this one is B and this angle is equal to C. This angle is considered because you have to find the trigonometric ratios with respect to the angle A. Okay, This angle is taken A and angle B is considered as right angle and this is hypotenuse, S is the hypotenuse. This is the opposite side with respect to angle A. This one is the um, adjacent side of angle A. Okay, What is given? Tangent of A, again I write, tangent of angle A is equal to 4 upon 3. This is the ratio of the side BC with AB. Okay, 4 is to 3. Now, <clears throat> will you always say that BC is equal to 4 units and AB is equal to 3 units? No, because this is the ratio of two sides. It may be, maybe, I don't say it will be, maybe 8 upon 6, maybe uh, 12 upon 9 because uh, 4 and 3 are co prime to each other, their multiples can be found. So, in this case, in this case, I have to take this 4 upon 3 as suppose 4k upon 3k, where k is not is equal to 0. k is not is equal to 0. Okay, this is taken as a positive number k is a positive number 4k upon 3k k is not is equal to 0 because if k is equal to 0 then denominator will be 0 so this will be absurd so 10a is equal to 4k upon 3k now what is 10 of a 10a is equal to bc upon ab bc upon ab is equal to 4k upon 3k so write it here 4k and 3k now since BC and AB are taken as 4K and 3K, then you can immediately find out the hypotenuse. What will be your hypotenuse? Now, this is root over of 4K whole square, right? 4K whole square plus 3K whole square. So, this is root over of 16K square plus 9K square means root over 25K square. So, this is 5K units, okay? This is 5K and hypotenuse is 5K units. No, you have to find out the other trigonometric ratios. 10a is known. So from this one, you can write cot of a, that is the reciprocal is 3 upon 4. Okay. 10a is equal to 4 thirds. So cot a is equal to 3 fourths because 10a and cot a are reciprocal to each other. Now find 1 by 1, 1 by 1, sine of angle a. Sin a is equal to, from the given figure, this is bc upon ac. BC upon AC. What is BC? BC is equal to 4K and uh, AC is equal to 5K just found and you, have, you can cancel K and K since K is not is equal to here K is not is equal to 0 so you can cancel K and you will get 4 upon K. 4 upon 5. 4 upon 5. Now since sin A is equal to 4 upon 5 so from this one you can find cosec angle A. Cosec of angle A. This is 5 upon 4. Since sin A and sin A and cosec A are reciprocal to each other, so if sin A is equal to 4 upon 5, then cosec A obviously 5 upon 4. Last one is cos of angle A. Cos of angle A is equal to from this figure AB upon AC. 
adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse AB. What is AB? AB is equal to thrice K and AC is equal to just 1.5 K. You cancel K and you will get 3 upon 5. So cos A is equal to 3 upon 5. So from this one you are getting sec of angle A is equal to 5 upon 3. Sec of angle A is equal to 5 upon 3. So all the trigonometry ratios are found. First one is 10. This is this were, it was given. So 10 A is equal to 4. Th. From these we are actually finding all other trigonometry ratios. First one we found cot A cot A is equal to 3 upon 4 because 10 A and cot A are reciprocal to each other. Sin A is found BC upon AC. This is 4 upon 5. Sin A and cos A are reciprocal. So just reciprocal the friction you will get cos A cos A is equal to 5 upon 4. Next is cos A cos A is equal to um, base divided by that is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse that means 3 upon 5 and sec a is equal to 5 upon 3. Now one thing I want to say this um, problem is finally completed but one thing one interesting fact I want to show I, I have to change the color please okay <clears throat> friends <clears throat> this is your right angle triangle ABC is your right angle triangle and uh, AC is the hypotenuse. This is your hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side. You know this one. In a right angle triangle, hypotenuse is the longest side. So obviously, this CA or AC is greater than BC. This CA is greater than your uh, AB. Isn't it? Greater than AB. So if you want to find the uh, ratio of uh, sine of angle a okay sine of angle a then you are getting actually the ratio of bc and ca isn't it see that bc and bc and ca that is sine a bc and ca you got 4 upon 5 4 upon 5 now since bc is less than ca so obviously the ratio of bc and ca will be a proper fraction this is interesting the altitude and the hypotenuse the ratio between them will be always a proper fraction that means sin a here will lie in between 0 and 1 0 and 1 because hypotenuse is the longest side similarly also for cos a you see that this is a proper fraction y this is a proper fraction. What is proper fraction means the numerator is lesser than the denominator because the base BA or the adjust side BA is lesser than the hypotenuse. So the ratio of AB and CA will always lie in between 0 and 1. So again I can write 0 less than cos of A less than 1. Okay. This is up to the 10th standard uh, concept but in your 11th standard these will be modified okay so